So I'm really excited about being here. This is really a really beautiful project. And uh, thank everybody who participated, from the people who built it, the state, the bank, everybody who helped finance this. Um, these are the kind of projects we need to do more of in Montgomery County. This is the part that we're not building for. When you know people talk about you know what's coming in Montgomery County, and you'll hear a lot about 40,000 households coming here in the next 10 years. 10,000 can afford market rate housing. We're building 1,000 units a year of market rate housing pretty easily. What we're not building is the 30,000 units a that we need, 3,000 units a year for people who need subsidy. And that's a very difficult thing to do, and it's remarkable that this project is pretty much entirely between 30 and 80 percent of AMI. Um, I like this, and I hope that and you don't get notification then shortly, I hope, of a an event we're having where we're basically offering up all the county parking lots and garages and looking for innovative ideas to build affordable housing on top of them all. Note to the state, help us out on this one because because anything we do is going to have affordability caveats like this. I'm not building stuff that's 15% MPDU and 85% market because that will not solve our problem. We need to do more projects like this. So this is really, really special to me. Um, I really um, want to recognize Donald Tucker from Communities Together and Bruce Levin from Keystar and Rick Edson, um, who I think of from, uh, from HOC, uh, so, but, but also from this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and Jason Duguay from SG, SCG Development. This, is, this really is a beautiful project. It's important. Um, the county helps support this with uh, construction and permanent financing. Our $8.9 million HIF loan supports 10 apartments with rents at 30% of AMI and 69 units with rents at 60% of AMI. This is a pretty remarkable achievement in, in the world of affordability. It's exciting to have another housing option for our senior population, especially one with apartments that are priced affordably. In Montgomery County, has more than 20,000 households today earning less than $31,000 who are not in affordable housing. They're in expensive housing and spending 50 to 60% of their income on housing. So this is a small step, but it's a necessary step and we need to be able to repeat this thing over and over again. We've put a record amount of funding into our budget this year. We've got $140 million in housing support it includes $100 million for loans to produce and preserve affordable housing. And this is the highest level of funding that we've had for, for housing in the county's history. The $100 million available for loans. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we're focusing on trying to preserve naturally occurring affordable housing. Uh, park and planning projects, and this is the scary statistic, that over the next, by 2030, we're going to lose 11,000 of our existing affordable housing units. So if you don't act to preserve, we cannot build the number of projected um, MPDUs over the next 10 years is less than the 11,000 units we're going to lose over the next 10 years. So that's the conundrum we're in. We've got to build, but we also have to preserve. And if all we did was build, we would actually be in a net loss just on that one statistic, let alone all the other pressures that are on the housing market right now. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we're prepared to do it. I want to emphasize that, uh, you know, that we are committed to both building and preservation. Um, and this is just a great example of building. It's a beautiful lot. I hope you guys will come and look at the other goodies we have on the table. There's a menu of other properties that, we, <laughs> that, that you can devour if you would like. Um, but I think you know, we, we are committed to trying to address this at both ends, and we're going to continue that work. This is just a really good example. It's good to be able to bring people to a place like this. Um, when people think about affordable housing, you know, a lot of times it gets stigmatized. No one's going to look at this building and say, my God, that's affordable housing. You know, I don't want this next to me. This would fit anywhere in Montgomery County. These are the kind of projects that we need. So I just want to thank you all for what you've done and made possible here. And I look forward to working with you. And, uh, I truly am impressed by what I've seen here today. Thank you.